Hey Math 8, how are we doing today? So today's con, graphing linear relationship word problems. So again, word problems makes it sound more difficult than it really is. This one's not too bad. So on this one, you're going to notice right up here, Mr. Moles burrow lies five meters below the ground. He then started digging deeper into the ground, descending at a rate of three meters per minute. So first of all, we're going to start with a dot, and I'm going to see if I can pull a dot up here. I'll put a nice little red color to it. We are going to start with a dot right here at negative 5. So we, Mr. Burroughs, started at negative 5. So 5 meters below ground. This is your starting point on the y-axis. Then he dug 3 meters per minute. The problem is, this is going down by 5s and not by 3s. So one of the things we could do is let's multiply the 3 by 5 and then go base on 5 minutes. If he goes down 3 meters in 1 minute, he'll go down how much in 5 minutes? And you might go, well, he would go down 15 meters in 5 minutes because 5 times 3 is 15. So if we go down 15 from here, 5, 10, 15, and that was in 5 minutes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes right here, we can put our second point right here. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, you went down three meters per minute, so that means in five minutes time, you would go down an additional 15 feet below, or meters, I guess, in that amount of time. So what you would graph is you would put one dot here, take one dot, put it right here, take the other dot right here, and your graph would look like that right there. Pretty easy. Let's do one more. Quinn returned home one summer's day to find it really hot, sweat-inducingly hot. He turned the air conditioner on and fell asleep. The room's temperature decreased by five to, or a half a degree each minute. He woke up 60 minutes later to find that the temperature was 10 degrees Celsius. So after 60 minutes of sleeping right over here, he noticed that the temperature in the room was at 10 degrees. So we're going to put a dot right there. So at 10, 60 minutes, we're going to put a dot right here. And that's where the first dot goes. Now, he knows the temperature had continuously been going down. So it's dropping to this point. And we have to figure out where it would be. Well, notice in the time we're going up by 10-minute increments. If it goes down a half a degree in one minute, how much would it go down in 10 minutes? So we take 10 times a half, or half of 10 would be 5 degrees. So in 10 minutes time... If we just take this little dot right here and duplicate that, 10 minutes ago, it would have been 5 degrees warmer. So 10 minutes ago, after 50 minutes, it would have been 5 degrees warmer or 15. And then what we can do is just take and draw a line connecting those two dots, knowing that when he fell asleep 60 minutes ago, it would have been 40 degrees Celsius in the home. And now it's down to 10 degrees as it drops a half a degree per minute. Hey, hopefully that makes sense. Good luck to you, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.